All right, so uh, I'm back here with the video card again, and I just noticed something. I was just about to order some capacitors for this, but I'd like to know if this works before I actually in, uh, indeed order parts. I noticed that the capacitor holes uh, actually on this board can't accept a larger capacitor because it has an extra hole next to the lead here. And that's nice because I can now fit the 16 volt uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor in here instead of the 6.3 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor in and that will let me test this video card before I go any further with it and I think if you look here this is uh, right off the coil here so I do believe this uh, capacitor is seeing a lot of taxing from uh, this PWM so it's probably why it failed and why uh, it's probably the first one to fail because it's actually probably the first um, capacitor in line to smooth out this PWM so uh, without schematic, I'm totally speculating, but I'm going to try this capacitor in here and see how it goes. Just going to put the positive end in here and negative here. And it doesn't protrude that much from the, from the uh, board here. And I don't have anything else beside it that's going to interfere with. So I'm going to go with this. Gonna add a little bit of flux. Hit some solder on there. Now again, this is gonna require a lot of heat because you're going to uh, need to solder this component to that via. And it took a lot of heat to get it out, so. I'm going to keep it on there for a while to make sure it's get it's a good connection. That looks good. A little longer. That's perfect. All right, so I'm going to be cutting the The leads off here and just clean up the area with a little bit of alcohol I ran out of my favorite Kim wipe so I'm resorting to using a paper towel at this point which I don't really like using but it'll work Get some of that flux residue off of there. Yeah, not bad. It's only temporary, but uh, now I can actually put this in and give it a whirl. So I'm down with the computer right now, and I'm just gonna be testing out the video card. I'm gonna be taking this out, and this is a, a lot better card and a lot better slot, but. Take this out and release the pin here. Come on. And that comes out of there. And I'm putting this one in the PCI slot. See, I don't run good video cards in servers because there's no need for it because it's just going to sit headless most of the time. And I only need it for troubleshooting or installing things on it. So I'm just going to put that in there temporarily, hook up the um, video cable on the back, and power it on. See if this turns on. Oh, there it is. So that fixed it. Just putting that capacitor in there. So we're good to go there. Excellent. Okay, so as you saw it by just changing out that one bad capacitor, we were able to get this to boot up and it worked fine, no problems at all. I technically could just leave it as is and use it as a backup or a spare, 
uh, but I'm probably just going to order the rest of the capacitors and just change them all out because they probably all not far behind and I'd feel conf more uh, confident about uh, putting this in with new capacitors uh, versus uh, you know once you know staggering death after the next and chasing this thing along for, the, for years to come uh, so um, yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little repair of these this little video card and it's nothing special it's a cheap one so uh, like I said it's worth $30 when it was brand new it's probably worthless now because it's PCI and uh, uh, you know just doing this might be enough to uh, you know putting something you might have in the house in just to stagger it along for a little while longer might be uh, an alternative for you so that's it I hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next